Okay guys, Professor Doni back for part two of this problem we're working on here. We have some point loads equally spaced across this simply supported beam which has a pin again and a roller at this end. We've done the shear by noting that where there's concentrated force it will jump down by that amount and we start with the support reactions at the ends which we got from summing the forces and summing the moments over here. Okay. All right, so what are we going to do at this point? We're down at the moment diagram. We said since this is a pin, it will have a zero there. There's no moment set up there, and there's a roller at the end, so there's also that. So we expect the graph to either sort of go up, come back down, or go down and come back up, or some combination of that. All right, the second rule we're going to learn is the, the moment at that loading is going to equal the area, hello, area of, oh boy, of the shear section. Now, they may say it a little differently in the book, but basically, if I find the area right here of this first section from the end to the first loading, that is going to tell me what this point is. Okay? So if that's 2 feet wide, and that's 675 across there, 2 times 675, gives me 12, 13, 50, and that tells me that my first part of the moment diagram will look like that. Again, if this is a constant across here, this will be the first order and be a linear, and as we've seen before, if this becomes a sloped up here, then this becomes the x squared. So, we go to 1350. All right, what happens next? Well, to the top of that, we're going to add now the area under this curve for the next section. So 2 times 275, that's 4, that's 550. We add 550 to this 1350, and that takes us all the way up to, not too much space here, 1900, right? Because it's this area plus that area equals this amount right there, that number right there. We get a little different color here as we move forward. Now, where do we go from here? All right, now this area is twice minus 375, this area in here. Since it is negative, we're going to start going down. So that's twice 325, that's going to be minus 650. 650 from the 900 will take us to 3 to 1250 and that makes that number there 1250 because that is from the 1900 minus the area because the area is negative or below so that becomes 1250 and this last section is twice times 625 which is 1250 1250 minus 1250 would take us all the way back to zero and that would be our moment curve. Now, I know that came off pretty easy, so I'll do another problem, but the keys here, one are when I have it jump down, first one is when it jumps by a number, there's a contrary force number, the shear diagram will jump down by that same amount. So if it's 400 up here, it drops from 400 there. The second point, is that this moment at the end of this section will equal the area under that shear diagram section. Okay. Now for small problems this is not a big deal because we could solve it. This is going to be one, two, three, four sections if we had to. Not unbear you know, not too awful, but this certainly can shortcut things for us. Alright? Now, in the exam, obviously, we want you to just let me know that, okay, that's a minus 400, so it drops by 400 there, so I can sort of follow what you're doing for corrections. But, all right, that helps you with one problem. I'm going to do a, another problem here in a moment. Hope that's helping you out.